Hello students. Today we are going to look at comparatives again and then we are going to learn superlatives. Hello everyone. Hello. Sylvia, how are you? I am great. I passed my big exam. I can go to the football match and I can go on a holiday next week. Very good, Sylvia. Where are you going? I'm going to Prague. Uh, it's smaller than Paris. Paris is more crowded than Prague. Oh, have a good time, Sylvia. I want to go to Prague and Paris, but I don't have time. I have to teach my classes. And how are you, Alberto? I'm fine, too. Uh, I am going on holiday, too. I passed the same exam. I'm going to Venice. Uh, I think Venice uh, is a romantic and a beautiful place. Venice is uh, nicer than Rome. Oh, very good, Alberto. You are quiet, Linda. Is there a problem? I'm sad. I didn't pass my exam. I'll not go on holiday. I should study harder. I wanted to visit my grandparents. Oh, I am sorry. Yes, you should study harder. But I'm sure you'll pass next time. Don't worry. Now, let's review comparative forms. Remember, for one-syllable words, we add E, R, to form the comparative. And remember, there are one-syllable words that have special spellings. Let's take a look at some examples of these special adjectives. Ed is fat. Joyce is not fat. In the comparative form, we say Ed is fatter than Joyce. Fatter with two T's. Next example, Zurich is a big city. Neuchâtel is a small city. So Zurich is bigger than Neuchâtel. So bigger with two G's. Okay, now let's practice comparative forms. Linda, which country is smaller, Monaco or Germany? That's easy. Monaco is very small. Monaco is smaller than Germany. Good. Is Germany smaller than the United States? Yes, of course. The United States is larger than Germany. Good, Linda. Sylvia, is Niagara Falls higher than Angel Falls? Um, that's a difficult question. I know Niagara Falls is in Canada. Angel Falls is in Africa. I think Angel Falls is higher than Niagara Falls. Oh, I think you're right, Sylvia. Alberto, which city is hotter, Cairo or Oslo? Mm, I think Cairo is hotter than Oslo. Very good, Alberto. Sylvia, which river is longer, the Nile or the Amazon? I think the Amazon is shorter. I think, Nile, uh, I think the Nile is longer than the Amazon. All right, great, Sylvia. Alberto, which mountain is higher, Mount McKinley or Mount Everest? Mount Everest is very, very high. Mount McKinley is smaller. Mount Everest is higher than Mount McKinley. All right, very good job, everyone. We also learned that with comparatives, with two or more syllables, we need to add more in front of the comparative adjective, or less, which is the opposite of more. Take a look at some examples. First we have, London is more crowded than Liverpool. Next example, my chair is less comfortable than your chair. Final example, Prague is more interesting than Sofia. Okay, now let's practice using comparatives with two or more syllable adjectives. Sylvia, which city is more beautiful, New York or Orlando? Uh, well, I went to New York once. Um, I know Disney World is in Orlando. New York was dirty. I think Orlando is more beautiful than New York. All right. Thank you, Sylvia. Alberto, which city is more historical, Rome or Los Angeles? Um, 
I think uh, Rome is uh, an old city. Los Angeles is not an old city. Uh, Los Angeles isn't uh, more historical than more Rome. So you're saying Los Angeles is less historical yeah, less than Rome. Historical. Okay, very good. Linda, which food is more delicious, French food or Spanish food? Mm, that's a difficult question. I love Spanish food. I love French food. But I think um, Spanish food is more delicious than French food. Okay, great. All right, we also learned that for two-syllable adjectives that end in Y, in the comparative form, we need to change the Y to an I before we add ER. So remember, the Y changes and becomes I-E-R in the comparative. Let's take a look at some examples. Big cities are noisier than small cities. Next example. Mexican food is spicier than Polish food. All right, now let's practice. Alberto, I know you like flowers. Do you think roses are prettier than tulips? Uh, that's a difficult question. You are right. I love all flowers. Uh, roses is my favorite. I think roses are prettier than tulips. Very good, Alberto. Linda, do you think San Francisco is noisier than New York? Um, San Francisco is wonderful. It is near the sea. Um, New York is dirty and noisy. San Francisco is less noisy than New York. So New York is noisier than San Francisco. All right, good job, everyone. Okay, finally, we learned two irregular comparatives. So we learned the comparatives of good and bad. Remember, the comparative or of good is not gooder, it is better. And the comparative of bad is not badder, it's worse. So for the comparative forms, good becomes better and bad becomes worse. Now let's take a look at some examples. Life in the country is better than in the city. The stores in Paris are better than the stores in Nice. The metro in New York is worse than the metro in Tokyo. All right, now let's practice again. Linda, which city is worse, Barcelona or Seville? I love Barcelona and I love Seville. And this is a difficult question. Barcelona is noisy and dirty. Seville is quiet. So... Um, I think Seville is better than Barcelona. Okay, so Barcelona is worse than Seville. Yes. Okay, good. Alberto, do you like desserts? Yes, of course. Italian pastries are wonderful. Okay, which desserts are better? French desserts or British desserts? French desserts are better than British desserts. They are sweeter than British desserts. Okay, I agree with you. Sylvia, which desert is worse, the Sahara Desert or the Gobi Desert? I don't know. Uh, the Sahara Desert is in Africa. The Gobi Desert is in Asia. Uh, the Sahara Desert is very hot and the Gobi de Desert is very cold. Actually, I don't have an answer because I think all desserts Deserts are very bad. Okay, thank you, Sylvia. Superlatives. Now we are going to learn superlatives. Remember, a comparative compares two people or two things. But a superlative compares 
one thing in a group to the rest of the group. So a superlative is number one. Nothing else is above it. Okay, for a superlative, we usually add the before the adjective. And for one syllable adjectives, we normally write the superlative by adding est to the adjective. Take a look at some examples. Paula is the youngest child in her family. Next example. Russia is the largest country in the world. Next example. The Nile is the longest river in the world. Now let's look at some pictures. Okay, the Sears Tower. The Sears Tower. The Empire State Building. The Empire State Building. And the Rockefeller Center. The Rockefeller Center. Now take a look at this sentence on your screen. The Sears Tower is taller than the other buildings. So that means it is the tallest building in the U.S. Okay, let's look at some other um, places or things. Okay, we have the Nile River. The Nile River. The Amazon River. The Amazon River. The Mississippi River. The Mississippi River. And the Seine River. The Seine River. Okay, please follow along at these, look at these sentences. The Nile River is 6,825 kilometers long. All the other rivers are shorter. So we can say the Nile River is the longest river in the world. So you see when we can use the superlative form. We use it to compare one part of the group to the rest of the group. And we don't use than. We use the before the superlative. And we add EST to one syllable words. So we use the before the superlative adjective. And we add EST to one syllable words in the superlative. Now let's practice using the superlative form. Let's start with you, Sylvia. Who is the shortest in your family? That's easy. There are only uh, two boys in my family. My brother is tall. <clears throat> my other brother is very tall. I'm the shortest one in my family. Okay, good. Linda, what is the largest city in Spain? Gee, I'm not sure. Madrid is big. Seville isn't big. Barcelona is large. I think Barcelona is the largest city in Spain. Very good, Linda. Alberto, what is the oldest city in Italy? Um, it's a very difficult question. All the cities are very old. <clears throat> Naples is old. Rome is old. Florence is very old. I think F Florence is the biggest city in Italy. Thank you, Alberto. Good job, everyone. So we can see that for the superlative forms, one-syllable adjectives, we usually add EST to the end. Now let's take a look at some one-syllable adjectives that have special spellings when they're used in the superlative form. Take a look at your screen. Paris is the biggest city in France. 
Larry is the fattest boy in his family. So remember, in the comparative form, we doubled the consonant and added ER. Well now, in the superlative for big or fat, etc., we do the same. We double the consonant, but we add EST for the superlative form. So, big becomes bigger than in the comparative. In the superlative, big becomes the biggest. In the comparative form, fat becomes fatter. In the same way, in the superl superlative, fat becomes the fattest. Okay, now let's practice the superlative form. Sylvia, who is the thinnest boy in your class? Mm, let me think. Ed and George are fat. Paul and I are medium. Fred is thin. Fred is the thinnest boy in my class. Good answer, okay. Now it's your turn, Alberto. What is the biggest sea in Europe? Mm, I'm not sure. The North Sea is small. The Adriatic isn't uh, big. The Baltic is uh, big. The Mediterranean Sea is very big. The Mediterranean Sea is the biggest in Europe. Okay, I think you're right, Alberto. Good. Linda, what is the hottest desert in the world? One more difficult question. I know Gobi is a cold desert, and the Mojave is a very hot desert. Sahara is hotter than the Mojave, so the Sahara is the hottest desert in the world. Okay, good. Good job, everyone. Now let's learn the superlative of two irregular adjectives. So remember, good and bad. In the comparative form, don't forget, good becomes better. And it's also irregular in the superlative. It becomes the best. All right, and again, bad in the comparative is worse. And in the superlative, it becomes the worst. So let's look again. We have good, two things or people, better, but the superlative is the best. Then we have bad, comparing two things or people, becomes worse, but in the superlative, it becomes the worst. Okay, let's look at some examples. Follow along on your screen. Paul, Andrew, and Edna are three bad children. But Andrew is the worst child. Poor Andrew. Next example. Mexico City, Hong Kong, and New York are three beautiful cities. But Hong Kong is the best city. Okay, next example. My brother doesn't like Mexico. He thinks Mexico is the worst country in the world. Another example. Peter loves Vietnamese food. He thinks it is the best food in the world. So again, good in its superlative form becomes the best and bad in its superlative form because becomes the worst. So now we need to look at another irregular adjective. It is far. Opposite of close, far. Take a look at your screen. Far becomes farther than or further than in the comparative form. And far becomes the farthest or the furthest in the superlative form. So comparing something to a group of things. 
Okay, now look at some examples of this new irregular adjective we're learning. Chicago is farther than Detroit from New York. Next example. Barcelona is further than Athens from Tokyo. So remember, farther and further are the same. Next example. Pluto is the farthest planet from the sun in the solar system. All right, let's see how we can use the best, the worst, and the farthest or the furthest in the superlative form. Practice again. Linda, where are the best beaches in the world? Hmm. The Riviera beaches are nice, and Turkey has nice beaches, but I think um, the best beaches are in Hawaii. Oh, okay. I'm surprised. You didn't say Ibiza. <laughs> okay, Sylvia, what do you think is the farthest place from the South Pole on Earth? That's easy. The North Pole is the farthest place on Earth from the South Pole. Okay, you are very good at geography, Sylvia. Alberto, what is the best city in the world? Mm. Well, I love Paris, I love Copenhagen, but I am from Italy. I love Rome, I love Venice, I really love Florence, I think Florence is the best city in the world. Okay, good answers, everyone. So let's quickly review the superlative forms with one-syllable words. Okay, don't forget, most one-syllable words add E-S-T to the end. Okay, follow along. Look at these examples. Toronto is the largest city in Canada. Next example. The pyramids are the oldest buildings in Africa. Another example. Anita is the smartest girl in her class. All right, now some adjectives have a special spelling in the superlative form. Take a look at these examples. Texas is the hottest state in the U.S. So remember, you have to double the T and then add E-S-T because of the vowel and the consonant at the end. Next example. Joshua is the thinnest boy in the club. So two N's before E-S-T. Next example. Cairo is the biggest city in Egypt. So we need to add another G to big before E-S-T. Okay. We also should review the irregular adjectives in their superlative form. Again, take a look at your, your screen. She thinks Thai food is the worst food in the world. So not the baddest, but the worst food. Next example. Alberto thinks Florence is the best city in the world. Next example. Hawaii is the farthest or the furthest state from Maine. All right, good. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Chile is the longest country in South America. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa. Read and repeat.
Now it's time to learn superlatives for adjectives with two or more syllables. So remember, in the comparative form, for these adjectives, we used more, right? Plus your adjective, plus than. Okay. In the superlative form, we use the most plus your adjective. Okay, or less plus your adjective plus than. Opposite of the most would be the least plus your adjective. So let's review this information on your screen. We use more than in the comparative form, and in the superlative form, we use the most. We use less than in the comparative form, and in the superlative form, we use the least. Now, let's look at some examples. Berlin is the most exciting city in Germany. New York City is the most popular city in the United States. Algebra is the least exciting subject for my sister. So does everyone have a pretty good idea of how to use superlatives? Yes, they're easy. I'm the nicest student here. You're right, Alberto, but I'm the smartest student here. I am the biggest student in here. <laughs> Very good, everyone. Linda, what is the most beautiful city in Europe? I'm from Spain. Madrid is beautiful. Seville is beautiful. There are beautiful cities in other countries. Vienna is beautiful. Um, I think Paris is the most beautiful city in Europe. All right. Thank you, Linda. I agree. Sylvia, what do you think is the most important city in the U.S.? Well, New York is important. Chicago is important because it is in the middle of the country. Los Angeles is important because Hollywood is there. And I think Washington, D.C. is the most important city in the United States because the president lives there. Very good, Sylvia. Alberto, what do you think is the most interesting museum in the world? I don't know. The Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York is very interesting. I think the Louvre in Paris is the most interesting. The Mona Lisa is there. Great. Thank you, everyone. Now, the most interesting thing for us to do now is to look and listen. Look and listen. What is the largest country in the world? Russia is the largest country in the world. What is the biggest continent in the world? Asia is the biggest continent in the world. What is the highest mountain in the world? Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. Read and repeat. Comparatives and Superlatives. 
now we have one more thing to look at. Remember, in the comparative form, in an adjective that ended in Y, we have to change it, change the Y to an I before we add ER in the comparative form. Okay, when we have a superlative and we have an adjective that ends in Y, we must change the Y again to an I and then add E, S, T for the superlative form. Let's look at this example. Johnny is very dirty. He is the dirtiest boy in the school. So notice how for the superlative of dirty, we changed the Y to an I before adding EST. Okay, now let's practice. Sylvia, what sport do you think is the dirtiest? Well, football is dirty, rugby is dirty. I think American football is the dirtiest sport because the players are always very dirty. <laughs> right, good Sylvia. Linda, what do you think is the prettiest city in Asia? I don't know. I can only see pictures of Asia. Hong Kong is a pretty city. Kuala Lumpur is a pretty city. Agra is the prettiest city in Asia. The Taj Mahal is there. All right, good, Linda. Alberto, what do you think is the noisiest city in Italy? Uh, they're all noisy. Uh, the big cities are very bad. I think Rome is the noisiest city in Italy. All right, thank you, everyone. You were wonderful. Let's review the superlative form one more time. All right, with one syllable words, remember, one syllable words, we need to add E S T to the adjective. Okay, let's look at some examples. Summer is the shortest season in Alaska. Next example. Mount Blanc is the highest mountain in Europe. New York is the biggest city in North America. Okay, don't forget, with the adjectives good and bad, good becomes the best in the superlative, and bad becomes the worst in the superlative. Also, far becomes the farthest or the furthest. More examples, take a look. The Florida Marlins is the best baseball team in America. London has the worst weather in Europe. Okay, now with two syllable words, two or more syllables, in the comparative form, we need to add the most. Okay? Or, of course, the opposite of the most, the least. Okay, we have some more examples. Take a look. Her brother is the least interesting boy I know. Next example. Amsterdam is the most exciting city in Holland. Another example. Istanbul is the most crowded city in Turkey. Okay, so with two syllable adjectives ending in Y, remember, change the Y to an I and then add E-S-T. Examples, take a look. Krakow is the prettiest city in Poland. Next example, Spanish food, Linda, is the spiciest food in Europe. Now here's a chart 
to help you remember superlative forms. Follow along. For one-syllable adjectives, here are some examples. Old, in the comparative form, it is older than. In the superlative, it's the oldest. Another example of a one-syllable adjective, green. In the comparative form, it becomes greener than. In the superlative form, it is the greenest. So, remember, for one-syllable adjectives, for a comparative form, add er. And for the superlative form, add est. OK, now let's look at two or more syllable adjectives. First example, handsome, in its comparative form, becomes more handsome than. In its superlative form, it becomes the most handsome. OK, important. In its superlative form, becomes more important than. Superlative, the most important. So we use more and most with two or more syllable adjectives. OK, now let's look at adjectives that end in Y. For instance, busy. In its comparative form, it becomes busier than, with an I, not a Y, and then ER. In its superlative form, it becomes the busiest. How about pretty? As a comparative, it is prettier than. As a superlative, it is the prettiest. So ER and EST are used with two syllable adjectives ending in Y. We just change the Y to an I. Friendly becomes friendlier than or more friendly than. So two ways to form the comparative. Friendly becomes the friendliest or the most friendly in its superlative. So some two-syllable adjectives use I-E-R, I-E-S, or more and the most. Irregular adjectives. Good, comparative form, better than, superlative form, the best. Bad, comparative form, worse than, superlative form, the worst. Far, comparative form, farther than or further than. Superlative form, the farthest or the furthest. So good, bad, and far have irregular forms in comparative and superlatives. All right, very good. Now I want you to tell me the superlative forms of the following adjectives. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. You don't sound very ready. Are you sure? Yes. Good. Linda, you start. Here we have hi. Now we want the superlative form. Um, the highest. Good. The highest. Hi, the highest. All right, um, let's see, Alberto, good. The best. Okay, good, 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 becomes the best. Let's see, let's see, Sylvia, how about lazy? The laziest. Okay, uh, how do you spell that? L A Z I E S T. Very good. So lazy becomes the laziest. Let's see, Alberto. 
Hot. The hottest. Okay. The how do you spell hottest? H O double T E S T. Very good. So hot becomes the hottest. Now Sylvia. Dangerous. The most dangerous. Okay, very good. The most dangerous. Dangerous becomes the most dangerous. Great. You're doing so well. Let's have a few more. Okay, now we have friendly. This one's for you, Alberto. The friendliest. Okay. How do you spell it? F R I E N D L I E S T. Good. Can we say something different? Yes. Most the most friendly. Very good, Alberto. So, friendly in the superlative is the friendliest or the most friendly. Okay, Linda, how about bad? It becomes the worst. Good. Bad becomes the worst. Good and let's see, Linda, you can do the last one too. Far. Um, it becomes the farthest. Good. And um, what's the other one? The furthest. Very good. So far in its superlative form is the farthest or the furthest. Good job, everyone. Thank you. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. This valley is the greenest in this country. The Gobi Desert is the coldest desert. The tallest tower. In the world is the CN Tower in Toronto. Read and repeat. Review. Now let's do some review. Fill in the blanks in the story with an adjective from the box. Dirty, beautiful, interesting, good, hot, large, dangerous, and crowded. Now I like Boston very much. I go there every summer for my holiday. It is not a small city. It is mm -hmm, city in Massachusetts. Okay, Alberto. It is the largest city in Massachusetts. Good. So we're talking about Boston. It is the largest city in Massachusetts. Good job. Okay, Sylvia. There are many people. Okay, in the summer, Boston is a city in the northeastern U.S. In the summer, Boston is the most crowded city in the northeastern U.S. Very good, Sylvia. All right. So yes, Boston in the summer, it is the most crowded city. In the northeastern U.S. Good. Let's have another sentence. 
Let's see, Linda, you can do this one. Boston is very clean. It isn't like Philadelphia. Philadelphia is mm -hmm, city in America, I think. Linda? Mm. Philadelphia is the dirtiest city in America, I think. Good. Philadelphia is the dirtiest city in America, I think. Alberto. I like to travel to other countries, too. I love going to Egypt. I like to see the pyramids. They are mm -hmm, buildings in Africa, Alberto. They are most interesting buildings in Africa. Are you sure? Again, please. They are most interesting. You're missing something. No, they, they are, are the most interesting. Good. So the pyramids are the most interesting buildings in Africa. Continuing, continuing. Let's pick on Alberto. You can do this one too. In the summer, Cairo is very warm. In the summer, I'm sure Cairo is mm -hmm, city in Egypt, Alberto. I am sure it is the hottest city in Egypt. Very good. So I'm sure Cairo is the hottest city in Egypt. Very good. We also like to go to the Red Sea. I love to hang glide. I don't think it is mm -hmm, sport in the world. I think boxing is. Okay, I love to hang glide. I don't think it is mm -hmm, sport in the world. I think boxing is. Linda? I don't think it is the most dangerous sport in the world. Okay, I don't think hang gliding is the most dangerous sport in the world. I think boxing is. Sylvia, I always return to New York. It is wonderful. The parks are nice, the people are friendly. It is mm -hmm, city in the United States. It is the most beautiful city in the United States. Okay, New York is the most beautiful city in the United States. Sylvia, you can finish this for us. The parks, the streets, and avenues are pretty. I like to play the piano in New York. I practice all the time. Some people say I am a uh -huh, piano player in New York. Sylvia. Some people say I am the best piano player in New York. Very good. Some people say I am the best piano player in New York. Great job, everyone. You are really good, so let's practice some more. I want to give you sentences and you fill in the blanks. Sylvia, I will give you the whale is. Mm -hmm. Please use the superlative form of an adjective. Mammal in the world. That's easy. The whale is the largest mammal in the world. The whale is the largest mammal in the world. Okay, one more, Sylvia. Jamestown is mm -hmm, city in America. I'm not sure, but Jamestown is the oldest city in America. All right. Jamestown is the oldest city in America. Well, you know your history very well. Linda, you're next. A Rolex is mm -hmm, watch in the world. We need a superlative. Oh dear, I don't know. That's okay. Um, Alberto, can you help her? Sure. 
Rolex is the most expensive watch in the world. Okay, good. A Rolex is the most expensive watch in the world. Great. One more for you, Alberto. Maine is mm -hmm, state from Hawaii. And Maine is the furthest or the farthest state from Hawaii. Good. All right. Maine is the furthest or the farthest state from Hawaii. Now, here are some different kinds of sentences. Great job, everyone. You were very good. Now, take a look at some different kinds of examples. Look at your screen. Golf and tennis are difficult, but baseball is... Mm -hmm. Golf and tennis are difficult, but Baseball is the most difficult. Okay, Linda. Vienna and Helsinki are crowded, but London is... Vienna and Helsinki are crowded, but London is the most crowded. Vienna and Helsinki are crowded, but London is the most crowded. Good. Now, Alberto. Cows and ducks aren't dangerous, but rabbits are. Mm -hmm. Cows and ducks aren't dangerous, but rabbits are the least dangerous. All right. Cows and ducks aren't dangerous, but rabbits are the least dangerous. Good. Be careful of those rabbits. Now, Sylvia. Stan and Eric aren't good players, but Don is mm -hmm, player. Stan and Eric aren't good players, but Don is the worst player. That's why I don't want them on my football team. <laughs> <laughs> good. Stan and Eric aren't good players, but Don is the worst player. All right, Linda. Mount Blanc and Mount McKinley are tall, but Mount Everest is... Mm -hmm. Mount Blanc and Mount McKinley are tall, but the Mount Everest is the tallest. All right, Mount Blanc and Mount McKinley are tall, but Mount Everest is the tallest. Good, Linda, you can do the next one too. Austria and Germany are beautiful countries, but Switzerland is mm -hmm, country. Austria and Germany are beautiful countries, but Switzerland is the most beautiful country. Good. Austria and Germany are beautiful countries, but Switzerland is the most beautiful country. Now, Sylvia. Hawaii and Florida are hot, but Texas is mm -hmm, state. Hawaii and Florida are hot, but Texas are the hottest state. Texas is the hottest state. Oh, yes. Hawaii and Florida are hot, mm -hmm. but Texas is the hottest state. Can you spell hottest, Sylvia? H-O-T-T-E-S-T. -T -T -E Good job. Now, Alberto. Sweden and Norway are cold, but Iceland is mm -hmm, country. Sweden and Norway are cold, but Iceland is the coldest country. Yes, Sweden and Norway are cold, but Iceland is the coldest country. Good, and you can do the last one too. The Arctic and Indian Oceans are deep, but the Pacific Ocean is... Mm -hmm. The Arctic and Indian Oceans are deep, but the Pacific Ocean is the deepest. Okay, the Arctic and the Indian Oceans are deep, but the Pacific Ocean is the deepest. Good job, everyone. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write. The longest river in the world is the Nile. The best beaches are in Hawaii. Our city 
has the best restaurants. Mount Blanc is not the highest mountain, but maybe it is the most beautiful. Which country is the most beautiful? My country is the most beautiful. The hottest desert is in Africa. Where is the coldest place on Earth? The tallest buildings in the world are in Malaysia. What is the worst place to live in? Now, check your work. The longest river in the world is the Nile. The best beaches are in Hawaii. Our city has the best restaurants. Mount Blanc is not the highest mountain, but maybe it is the most beautiful. Which country is the most beautiful? My country is the most beautiful. The hottest desert is in Africa. Where is the coldest place on Earth? The tallest buildings in the world are in Malaysia. What is the worst place to live in? Now read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. My name is Reggie. I am a businessman. I love to travel to other places. I don't like to travel on Ginkgo Airlines. There are always many people. I am sure it is the most crowded airline. I love to travel on Trans World Air. They have the most beautiful stewardesses in the world. I usually travel to Germany. I visit Berlin, Hamburg, and Frankfurt. Berlin is the most interesting city in Germany. There are many museums. The Picasso Museum is the most interesting museum there. Checkpoint Charlie, near the Berlin Wall, is there. The beer in Berlin is the best beer in the world. I don't like Hamburg. It is on the sea. It always smells like fish. It's the dirtiest city in Germany. My hotel is always near the sea. The boats are very noisy. My hotel is the noisiest hotel in Hamburg. I like Frankfurt. The Christmas festival is wonderful in December. It is the most beautiful Christmas festival in the world. The people are always very friendly. The shops are cheap. I like to shop there. Now answer the questions about the story. What is Reggie's job? Why doesn't he like Ginkgo Airlines? Why does he like Trans World Air? What country does he visit when he goes to Europe? Which three cities does he visit usually? Which city is the most interesting city in Europe for Reggie? Which two museums are in Berlin? What does Reggie drink in Berlin? Why doesn't he like Hamburg? When is the Christmas festival in Frankfurt? Now check your answers. What is Reggie's job? He is a businessman. Why doesn't he like Ginkgo Airlines? 
He thinks Ginkgo Airlines is the most crowded airline in the world. Why does he like Trans World Air? They have the most beautiful stewardesses in the world. What country does he visit when he goes to Europe? He visits Germany. Which three cities does he usually visit? He usually visits Hamburg, Berlin, and Frankfurt. Which city is the most interesting city in Europe for Reggie? Berlin is the most interesting city in Europe for Reggie. Which two museums are in Berlin? The Picasso Museum and Checkpoint Charlie are in Berlin. What does Reggie drink in Berlin? Reggie drinks beer in Berlin. Why doesn't he like Hamburg? He thinks it is the dirtiest city in Germany. When is the Christmas festival in Frankfurt? The Christmas festival in Frankfurt is in December. All right, see you next time. Practicing English. Hey, little brother, what are you working on? My teacher gave me some homework on geography today. We are learning about where countries and cities are around the world. Hmm, that sounds really interesting. So far, I like it, but sometimes it's hard to answer all these questions. Do you want me to help you? My teacher said that we should do most of the work on our own, but I think it's okay if we get a little help. I'll be happy to help my little brother. Okay, here's the first question. Which country is larger, France or China? That's an easy one. China is bigger than France. Is China as big as Canada? Well, they're both among the biggest countries in the world. So we can say that Canada is as big as China, or China is as big as Canada. They both have a lot of space. Okay, I have some more questions. Is Prague as big as New York? That's an easy one. New York is much larger than Prague. New York has almost eight million people, and Prague has less than a million. So New York is definitely the bigger city. You sure know a lot of different places. Thanks. I like to learn a lot about different places. Are there any questions there about South America? Let's see. Yes. What's the biggest country in South America? Hmm. Do you know the answer to this one, little brother? I'm not sure. I don't think it's Argentina, but when I look at the map, I would have to say that is Brazil. Yes, you're right. Brazil is the biggest country in South America. Do you know the capital city of Brazil? We studied Brazil last week. I know that Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo are big cities in Brazil, but they are not the capital cities. I think the name of the capital is Brasilia. You're right. Well done. What cities or countries do you want to see, Alexi? That's an easy one for me. I want to climb Mount Everest. It's the highest mountain in the world. Wow, that would be amazing. I would love to see Mount Everest, but I don't think that I want to climb it. It's very cold there, isn't it? Yes, because it's so high. It's among the coldest places on Earth. It's very windy too. It can be very dangerous to climb this mountain. Where else do you want to go? Well, I want to see the pyramids some day. I know where they are. They are in Egypt. Yes, you're right again. The pyramids were built along the Nile thousands of years ago. It's the place where the Egyptians used to bury their kings. They were called the pharaohs, right? Yes, that's right. The Nile River is one of the longest rivers in the world. The Amazon is also a very long river. It's in Brazil. Wow, you're very good at geography. You know a lot of the answers already. Well, I kind of like this stuff. Well, little brother, what about you? 
where do you want to go when you grow up? Hmm. There are so many interesting places to go. Yes, there are. You have already lived in two interesting places. Athens when you were little, and now Istanbul. I think living in Australia would be a great thing. Why would you want to go to Australia? Well, there are a lot of interesting places and really nice beaches. Yes, this is true. They also have very rare animals you cannot find anywhere else in the world. Like what? Well, the kangaroo is an example, and the koala bear. They're among the rarest animals in the world, and ones you can only find in the nature of Australia. Of course, now you can see them in zoos. Wow, I didn't know that. Yes, you're right about the beaches too. They have the most amazing beaches there, but you have to be careful if you go swimming because they have some very large sharks in the water. The largest shark is the great white shark. Hmm. Maybe if I go to Australia, I will just stay on land and visit things. Don't worry. You can go swimming. Many people swim all their lives and never even see a shark. Yeah, but seeing a shark in the water is the scariest thing I can think of. If I go to Australia, I think I will just stay on the land.